Hi, Pallavi. How are you? Yeah. Hi, Rakesh. I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah. So, Pallavi, can you tell me something about the inheritance? <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Inheritance. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's an object-oriented. Uh, object-oriented principle. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it is uh, used for. Uh, inheritance is used for inheriting the properties uh, from the parent class. Now that mm -hmm. is the child class when it wants to inherit the properties from the uh, parent class then we make use of inheritance and uh, oh, yeah so there are various types of inheritance like single inheritance hierarchical inheritance and um, uh, multi-level inheritance mm -hmm. uh, yeah okay can you write a simple program for hierarchical inheritance uh, yeah no. yeah any any program is fine. You can use Notepad plus plus. You can use Notepad. You can use IntelliJ. You can use Eclipse. Yeah, I'll use Eclipse. Yeah, yeah, whichever your tool you are comfortable with, you can use. And just share the screen. Just a minute. Yeah. Can you share your screen? Yeah. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, yes, it's visible. So I have to uh, show write you write a program. Hierarch yeah, for hierarchical inheritance. Okay. Looks like a lot of practice you have done. <laughs> no, no. It's uh, so many, uh, like, yeah, yeah. because uh, when I joined that uh, Naveen Automation Lab, no, since then, right. uh, that time I <laughs> practiced, in between a huge uh, gap was there. And uh, right. due to that gap, actually, the confidence is gone. Wonderful. Well, that's a good thing if you have practiced so much and... Uh, these things yeah but my thing was like when the interview used to happen that time only i used to practice and uh, uh when i had joined the navin automation labs mm -hmm. even that time so okay. in between uh, the confidence again goes <laughs> no worries no worries right so now you have to write a simple program for hierarchical inheritance yeah yeah yeah
Yeah. Right. So you have three classes. Great. Oh. See, uh, what you have done is you have public class. Had a, okay, is the program completed or you are still writing? Uh, yeah, I'm, <clears throat> I'm writing, but... Uh... Mm -hmm. I think you are going in the right direction. See, you are extending hierarchical inheritance. Yeah. Oh, then class C, you are extending B. Okay, see, class hierarchical inheritance that you have created in the line number three. Class mm -hmm. B will extend hierarchical inheritance. Class mm -hmm. C will also extend hierarchical inheritance. So one class has okay. been extended by multiple classes. That is your hierarchical inheritance. Okay, I thought that is hybrid. No, no, that is hierarchical. See, I will show you. Okay. Hybrid is actually a combination of multiple classes. Okay, See, okay. is my screen visible to you? Yeah, yeah. So you have class A. In that, you'll have any method A, and let's say you take system.out.println. You have class B, which is extending A. Yeah. In that, you've got method B, and this is class B's method. You have class C, which is extending A. This is class C. All the classes B, okay. C, D are extending the same class A. Okay, okay. Right? So that is yeah. your hierarchical inheritance. And then the main method in which you have got B, OBJ1 equal to new B. C obj2 equal to new c d obj3 equal to new d so like that you can write all these things okay okay right so one class so and uh, multiple okay. classes are extending the same class so i think you were you did 60 percent correct and then you uh, actually the main I thought, uh, no i thought uh, that uh, uh, a class then uh, b is hmm. extending a that way i thought the hierarchical and then okay. uh, class C is extending B like that, I thought actually. Okay. But that okay. is wrong. So this right, right. is the right hierarchical. Yes, yes. This is the hierarchical in which you have uh, actually A. So let me show it to you. Um, this is how your class is there. You have this as one of the class. This is your class A. This is your class B. This is your class C. This is your class D. Okay. So all these classes would be extending the same things. Simple? Yeah. And I think you were class B extended hierarchical, class C extended. Yeah. So that is fine. Okay. Okay. What do you know about abstraction in Java? Uh, <clears throat> abstraction is uh, used for... Uh... Uh, hiding the complex uh, things and just uh, showing mm. the implementation uh, details. Uh, sorry. Uh, abstraction is uh, to just uh, uh, show the, the complex uh, things in a program and uh, uh, whenever we want to show, uh, mm. just uh, want to show the uh, hiding the uh, implementation details and just showing the mm -hmm. abstraction you are telling right hiding the uh, complex um, uh, things and just uh, showing the uh, uh, main uh, functionality uh, sorry, main uh, what do you call it? Uh, main logic. Uh, main, uh, main. So you are hiding the implementation details. Implementation details. Right. Yeah. yeah. Great. Okay. What is the difference between abstract class and interface? Uh, abstract class uh, is, has the concrete as well as abstract methods and mm -hmm. 
uh, interface has the uh, only abstract methods and uh, mm -hmm. also interface has the default um, methods as well and uh, interface supports uh, multi level inheritance where abstract class doesn't support it got it uh, 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 what else uh, with abstract class you cannot get 100 percent of abstraction abstraction yeah right? with and, uh, with the uh, interface we get you can get it abstraction. right so that's how you can explain yeah right now how many types of constructors are there uh parameterized constructor default mm -hmm. constructor okay so can you write a simple program for parameterized constructor yeah yeah you can write in the same file as well you can share your screen and you can write it yeah. Uh, parameterized constructor, right? Parameterized construct. Yes, parameterized construct.
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have created uh, three uh, variables, A, B, and C. And A and B you have used a uh, public method. Okay. But uh, what kind of method is this ninth one? Is this method, would it return something or is it a void method so that you need to add there? Um, right. And uh, it's public static. Yeah, it's a constructor. Okay. Fine. Then why are you getting error at A in 25th line? Yeah, actually, I just uh, mm -hmm. of printing the values A and B. I'm not uh, able to paint it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me uh, show you this uh, example. Okay. See. Uh, your screen sharing would be stopped. Yeah. So that's how we can write a parameterized constructor. So first is example integer. So this is your class. Yeah. Okay. And this is your constructor. Integer i, comma integer j. Okay. And you are printing it just this simple thing. Okay. Oh. Now what I'm doing is I'm having this two parameters here. Yeah. So when I'll create an object in public static void main, I'll create an object of this class example, oh. OBJ equal to new example. Then I'll write object two as well there, right? OBJ oh. two equal to new example. So it will call this particular constructor 1212, 12, this one. Okay. Okay. So this line, it would invoke this line. Okay. Right? Thank you. Right. Okay. What do you know about polymorphism? Uh, <clears throat> polymorphism is an OOPS concept in uh, Java, uh, which is in which uh, we use uh, a method overload, uh, overloading and uh, mm -hmm. method overriding. And... Uh, uh, method in Java, uh, 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 we uh, we have concepts like uh, runtime polymorphism and uh, compile time polymorphism. So method overloading is compile time polymorphism, and overriding is mm -hmm. uh, uh, runtime polymorphism. Uh, where uh, in the overloading method overloading, mm -hmm. uh, when we want to uh, uh, make uh, uh, use uh, of the method for uh, we make use of the same method for different purposes. Mm. That time we make use of uh, method overloading. Mm. And uh, when we want to give a, a different implementation uh, to the child in the child class from the mm. parent class, uh, when we want to give a different implementation, that time we make uh, use of the overriding. Okay. Like whatever method is there in the parent, we override it. Then we can do the success implementation. Right, right. Okay. What is the difference between array list and linked list? Uh, 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 both are collection related topics, right? Yeah, both are. Uh, mm -hmm. Linked list is a uh, linked list is a uh, it it makes use of index based. Uh, uh, Index, uh, it is index based and uh, it is uh, it. Uh, I didn't revise this actually. Mm -hmm -hmm. No worries, no worries. See, let me share the screen. Uh, see, array list, what it, what it does is it is using uh, you, you have to tell the differences, both, both are. Array list as well as linked list, right? Both you can tell. 
see we can tell the differences with respect to structure with respect to excess time and with respect to insertion and deletion see for linked list insertion and deletion is faster it is quicker compared to array list because in array list you will have to transfer you'll have to shift elements to the right or to the left so it is slower okay. access time if you see from linkedin perspective it is slower sorry okay. from linked list perspective it is slower when accessing elements by index because it needs to traverse the list from the beginning or from the end so it is beginning to the end or end to the beginning right Whereas here, access time is fast when you are accessing elements by index, right? Here, structure, if you see internally, array list is using a dynamic array to store the elements, right? Link list uses a doubly linked list. Each element node contains a reference to the previous and the next element, right? So that's how your linked list is working. And here, your array list is working, okay. right? So the difference between array list and the linked list. Link list. Okay. okay. What do you know about string? class in java what what is string what is string a uh, string is a class in java and it is a data type uh, used to store a uh, 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 used to store a, a string or uh, like or uh, we can uh, store uh, words uh, in a string variable and uh, we can declare it like uh, string for example we want to declare any name or uh, uh, string A is equal to uh, uh, in uh, double quotes Java. Mm -hmm. so, can uh, you can you write a program for creating a string? Yeah. So you have to create a string and you have to convert those characters into the upper case.
Yeah. Can you put this print ln line in the main itself? So instead of closing main method at nine, can you close okay. afterwards? Because yeah. that main program will get closed, right? Mm -hmm. Fine. Now, can you run this program once? Great. Great. Mm -hmm. Now, how will you convert it to lowercase? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah this uh, str1 dot to lowercase. No? lowercase right so that you'll do okay now how will you reverse this string so let's say str is j a v a input output i need is a v a j i need to reverse this string so in that case what we will do we can make use of uh, string builder or uh, without string builder as well we can. okay can you can you try once uh, with the string builder or without yeah we can try with both first you can try with string builder itself Uh, actually, I'm not. Uh, mm -hmm. Should I? Uh, so you have written right. That is correct only. String builder sb equal to new string builder. Now sb dot reverse. Yeah. Okay. What is sb? Sb dot reverse. You are putting. Okay. Yeah. Then here uh, str one you are using. So what is there in str one? Oh uh, no! Actually, it was previous one. Mm hmm. So can you can you remove that previous code? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I need to reverse uh, this one using string builder. So this Java uh, str. Yeah, you you are doing correct only. See, string uh, builder you have used, right? Yeah. So now what you need to do is uh, you need to pass this string parameter within that bracket. So str you need to pass on within that sb dot reverse. Yeah. yeah. Right. Now, see if you can run this program once. Okay. Remove argument uh, to match reverse. So... Oh, uh, what's with me? 
So you have written one string. Yeah. And uh, then that string, you have written string builder equal to new. Okay. So in that eighth line, you need to pass on the parameter. Right? Okay, here? Yeah, yeah, here, here. Okay. Right. In, in ninth line, you can remove from ninth line. Yeah, ninth line, you don't need to pass that str in the parameter. No, you need to write sb dot reverse. Okay. Yeah, sb dot reverse is fine. Okay. But str is a parameter that you would be putting in the eighth line. Right. Now you can run this program. You can okay. run system dot out dot print ln str. Okay. No, 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 no. Reverse string equal to uh, can you close this console once? Yeah. Yeah. So how uh, you're getting str equal to Java string builder sb equal to new string builder str sb dot reverse system dot out dot print reverse string equal to Okay, you need to put in the system dot out dot print element, right? You need okay. to put the S S B value that you have used. Okay. S B S B value. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because S B we are we are reversing S B, right? You have written S B dot reverse. Yeah. Yeah. Right now. Yeah do it without using any inbuilt method so this is an inbuilt method reverse which is already available now yeah. how to achieve it without using inbuilt method you can use for loop yeah.
will comment this temporary in tiny mm -hmm. this one string builder sorry yeah. what you are telling shall i comment this yeah 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 you can comment out so we have written uh, this uh, reversing a string normal without using inbuilt method that is completed without using inbuilt yeah yeah and just yeah yeah can you run this I program i will share your screen yeah yeah you have shared the screen yeah yeah can you run this program once oh something missing just a minute Okay, reverse string equal to. You need to put the name of the variable. Sorry. So that uh, after you have written seventeenth line, right? Yeah. System dot out dot print ln, right? There, what you need to do? Reverse word colon and give a space, then put double inverted comma. Plus, yeah, reverse string. Okay. Yeah. Then put space. Don't put equal to there. Put okay. space for now. Yeah. Double in order comma plus plus you write right. Yeah. Near near to that double inverted comma itself. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't put any space between double inverted comma and plus R E B. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now print it once. Mm. So nothing is coming in REV, that means. So yeah. REV is coming as blank. Yeah. So what you have done here is you have taken integer length equal to str dot length. String reverse you have taken. Then what you have done for loop i is equal to len minus 1. i is greater than len. I minus minus. Why you have taken len minus one length minus one? Because uh, suppose if uh, no, here it is uh, zero one two three. Mm -hmm. So the length it will show as uh, the length it zero one uh, one two three four. Mm. It will show four, and uh, uh, while I want to go, uh, I want to reach to A. Mm -hmm. I want to reach to A. So uh, for reaching till A, I as uh, in uh, Java uh, starting of the string, it uh, starts mm. from zero. Mm. Zero, one, two, three. Mm. So the length gets length is four. But mm -hmm. it will consider as uh, three index three. Mm -hmm. So over here I will reach, and uh, once I reach here, uh, then it will check that uh, uh, i is uh, three is greater than uh, four, um, and, uh, and then uh, it will come down, and the first uh, yeah, uh, then it will. Uh, str dot care at i then mm. it will uh, take this a and uh, it will store it here a and uh, then again it will come over here mm. see Fine. i'll i'll explain this code to you uh mm. this i have also used for loop only it's, it's okay. simple. see first is uh this one see uh you have taken one class. Okay, this is any of your string which you would like to reverse. You can take anything here, Java, RD, right? Now you go for a for loop, right? For integer i equal to zero. So it will start from zero, right? i is less than str dot length. What is the length of this uh, uh, string here which you want to convert? It will have some length. 
So i is less than str dot length i plus plus, right? So you start from zero, one, and then see what is the length. Till that it will traverse, right? Then okay. you use this ch equal to str dot character at of i. So character at of this i is an index. Character at zero, character at one, two, three, like that. It will also iterate. i equal to zero, so this will be zero. i equal to one, then this will be one, right? And then you are adding each character in front of the existing string. So this becomes your program. Okay. Right? Great. Yeah. Okay. What is the difference between JDK and JVM? Oh, sorry. JDK and JRE. JDK. Uh, JDK is the Java development uh, kit and uh, it is used for uh, it is used for in Java for developing mm -hmm. the web based applications. Mm -hmm. Which uh, uses the java uh, this thing and what about jre jre is the uh, java runtime environment which uh, provides the runtime environment for the execution of the you know, programs like whatever program is written it gets mm -hmm. converted to byte code and uh, then uh, it gets compiled um, and then jvm uh, it uh, compiles it into the byte code and uh, uh, Mm -hmm. yeah. So JVM is actually part of JRE. JRE and JVM both are part of JDK. Okay. Right. So JVM is very important. So JVM, what it will do, it, it will search for a main method in the program. Wherever it is written, it would search okay. for that. Okay. Right. Fine. Okay, Pallavi, I am done with the interview. Do you have any questions for me? Okay, sure. Just uh, would like to know. <laughs>